This is AW360 Live at Advertising Week New York. I'm BJ Smith. I have with me Mark Douglas, CEO of Steelhouse. Hi, how you doing? I'm doing great, man. It's good to see you. You too. So how long has Steelhouse been around? Uh, about seven years. I started doing business with you guys probably five, maybe even six years ago. Oh, wow. Uh, the company that I was working for, our brand, we were really getting into dynamic ads and um, trying out all kinds of new stuff that's, online. That's awesome. So you guys were at the cutting edge of that. It was really yeah. cool. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm looking at my list today. I see Steelhouse. I'm like, yeah, I don't know those guys. <laughs> Good. Great. So you just got out of a what seems to be a highly charged um, session called Very Changing Technology Brand Agency Relationship. Yeah, uh, it was a little more lively than that title, but it was great. <laughs> disruption ahead? Yeah, it was a disruption <laughs> exclamation point was basically the panel. So we'll talk about a little bit about that, and folks can go back and they can actually watch the, the replay, and from what I understand, just talking to you, that they definitely want to go check that yeah. out. So let's talk about it. What, what's the disruption? What's the technology mean with a you know, advertising right now. Yeah, I mean, there's just so much happening right now. I think um, um, if you're if television advertising is your thing, you got now um, connected TV. Basically, yeah. people. I yeah. I spent all week watching TV in the back of taxis. I haven't turned on the television in my hotel room in over a week. Um, so, to, you know, that's all new. How that that's becoming programmatic. How it's purchased very different than traditional TV. Um, just media buying in general, you know, digital media buying. Um, Steelhouse is, we're trying to lead the way in terms of fully automated media buying combined with creative tools. So there's just a lot of change. Um, the social networks with Snap coming online with their advertising solution, Pinterest, you know, Facebook and, and constantly innovating in terms of app formats. It's just a ton of change. And we think it's all, you know, a lot of it's technology led. Obviously, a lot of it's to get, in, you know, kind of connect with the consumer in, in new ways. So we're excited. We're, like, we're just innovating as much as we can, basically. That's too cool. So there's so many of these uh, agencies out there that have been doing things the same way. And there's a lot of, especially the bigger ones, that are trying to, that they're able to keep up. Yeah. And they can afford a lot of this technology. What do you see is happening in the, in the agency world as far as, um, Maybe even medium sized or smaller agencies trying to keep up. Yeah, well, I think the biggest agencies, like um, Sir Martin Sorrell just presented here, I think they, um, they, they see all this change, and I think um, I'm impressed a lot of them embracing it and, you know, kind of not it, trying to ignore it. Um, for the agencies, you know, kind of um, the, the smaller, smaller than that scale of agency. Mm -hmm. Um, I think a lot of them, you know, we're, I'm meeting with a lot of them and saying, how can we work together? I'm not, I think agencies play a valuable role. This is the irony. Steelhouse makes a, a technology platform so brands can advertise on their own, but we still work, use our, we have an agency to help us with our own messaging. <laughs> right, yeah. Right, we're not relying on them to buy the digital media, but we're working with them in terms of how we should position creative things like that. So, so I mean, agencies play a role. I've been saying it's back to the future for agencies. Right. Back to, like, what's the right message to deliver a consumer and not getting all bogged down in, you know, programmatic ad buying. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. so there are so many brands out there that, like you said, they will work directly with you. I work directly with you guys Yeah. Uh, when we were doing it. But at the same time, there's so many different things to keep up with Yeah. that... You know, small, medium-sized companies have a really hard time just affording the staff to be able to keep up with that. Yeah. And we turn to agencies for help. Yeah. And you know, the agencies turn to guys like you for right. help. Yeah. So we have. Um, uh, this is going to be a slight plug, but it's not meant to be a plug. <laughs> so if you go to steelhouse.com/beta, we have a list of all the kind of cutting-edge um, um, betas we're doing. We call it the Innovation Hub, and it's like literally the latest ad formats from Facebook and Instagram. You can, um, we're doing betas on programmatic audio, um, just um, in-store attribution. And so, you know, w at the same time, we're automating a lot of the media buying and the creative tools. We're trying to give our customers a way to, like, try the cutting edge of what, yeah. you know, all the social networks are offering and everything you can get programmatic. That's really cutting edge. A lot of people, right now want to test connected TV 
Connected TV is your Apple TV. It's your Fox Now, TNT Live, sure. you know, basically on-demand television. Yeah. And we're seeing a lot of brands really eager, who traditionally did not do television advertising, but really eager to try like advertising on connected TV. Yeah, you know, they they feel like the the ad format's only you know often shorter. Like it's something that they can now approach and afford. So that's that's pretty exciting. Yeah, you talk about. Spending all the time in the back of taxis, watching on your phone. Yeah, I mean, and no offense to any cable companies or you know uh, satellite or any of the traditional models, but uh, um, my family we cut the cord cable seven years ago. Wow. I think. That's I mean, a, we, yeah, I mean, we've been on. You're definitely leading edge. Yeah, yeah, so we've been uh, on a Roku family for a long time. Well, AT and T, you know, one of the um, AT and T has a commercial with. Um, um, the guy from Entourage, I forget. Uh, and it starts with television will no longer be that thing on your wall. That's how they start the commercial. And they own DirecTV, which only connects it <laughs> right. up to like December, only connected to that thing on your wall. Yeah. So, I mean, even the biggest cable companies are embracing um, kind of cutting the cord. Hulu Live launched recently, YouTube Live. I mean, it's, it's, um, it's cool. It's all really cool. And then in terms of advertising, I mean, the... I mean, I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing, but you ser- I wasn't previously watching television in the back of taxis until <laughs> I could watch it on my phone, right? So, they, so now there's a new way to reach me, yeah. you know, that didn't exist before. I have students, so I, I teach a college course, yeah. and I have students, especially one in particular, so if he's watching, yeah. <laughs> I'm talking about you. Uh, I, I go, if he's there before class, before I've opened the door, he's sitting there with his phone like this. Yeah. And with you know two or three people around them, and then I open the door. They go in immediately. They pull up YouTube while they're waiting for me to get set up to start class. Yeah. I'm like, hello. I mean, yeah. <laughs> it's like constant. Yeah, it's never. It's it's um, could be a little overwhelming, but it's it's like well to finish that story. Why am I watching TV in the back of a taxi? Taxi comes. So watching Narcos. And yeah. You have to actually read the subtitles. So it's the next time to do it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah so, absolutely. So consume wherever you want. And it's having a big impact, I think, on the advertising ecosystem. That and automated media buying and just better tools and more transparency, it's all occurring at the same time. Well, Mark, thank you for joining me here Thanks. at uh, AW360 Live. Enjoyed it. Thank you. Absolutely. All right. There'll be more from Advertising Week New York coming up soon.